Uh, for this problem, we are to apply Gaussian elimination to the coefficient matrix of the homogeneous system to determine the solution set. All right, so here's our homogeneous system, um, both set equal to zero. We need to create a uh, coefficient matrix. Um, so I have x1, x2, x3, and x4. There are four variables, so it's going and two equations. So it's going to be um, two rows and four columns. So here's where I'm going to put my coefficients for x1, x2, x3, and x4. Um, for the first equation, coefficient is 1. There's no coefficient for x2, so that's 0, minus 5 for x3, and 4 for x4. The second one, there's no equation for x1, so that's a 0. Now x2, that's a 1, 2, and minus 7 for x4. Um, so here I have my coefficient matrix, uh, and it just so happens that this is already in row echelon form. As we can see, there's this 1 in the upper left-hand corner with a 0 below it, and a 1 diagonally down from that. Um, so I can use this right away to determine the solution set. Now I need to assign free variables um, to these two because they don't have um, you know, ones in their uh, spot. So. Okay, so I'm going to assign x3 to be an S and x4 to be a T. Um, so now reading this across, the first row becomes x1, not plus, uh, minus 5S because S is equal to x3, plus 4T is equal to 0. And from that, we can derive x1 is equal to 5s minus 4t. So now for x2, we can see that x2 is um, x2 plus 2s minus 7t equals 0. And from there, we can derive x2 equals minus 2s plus 7t. So now let's write down our completed solution set where x1, x2, x3, and x4, let's write that as a matrix, I mean as a vector, is equal to x1 is 5s minus 4t. x2 is minus 2s plus 7t. Uh, x3 is s, and x4 is t. So that's our solution set.